but one of the things you're doing is humane education. Tell us about that. Yes, uh, we have humane educators going into schools in New York and California. You know, we believe that children are naturally open-minded and connect with animals. And so we tell the animal stories. And we also encourage people to come to visit the sanctuaries. We have one not far from here in Acton. If you've not been there yet, please visit. Bring friends, bring family, bring kids. Every year for Thanksgiving, we do a celebration for the turkeys where they're the guests of honor. And we set up you know, pumpkin pies. It's a really fun thing. Um, you know, Farm Sanctuary is a place of healing for animals and for people. And for children today, you know, many of us grew up eating meat without thinking about it. Children today, I think, through information online and through their phones, have a lot of inf knowledge now about factory farming. And they also have knowledge about Googling like vegan lasagna and the kinds of things they can eat. So there are solutions. And so we're in the schools now encouraging the next generation to basically live in alignment with their natural humane tendencies. I think most people are humane and would rather not cause unnecessary harm. But when everybody around you is doing something bad, you think it's the normal thing. And then people tend to start doing what those around them do. We're social animals. So if children are exposed to seeing farm animals as friends instead of as food, and there are other people who uh, model that relationship and that connection and that behavior, it's going to start rubbing off on the kids. So we're in the schools and, and hoping that more of these kids start thinking about this and maintaining their natural connection and compassion for animals. Woo!